Hey guys, how are you all? Today we're going to be determining how I'm going to track my um, reading, my novel reading. I guess that's a good way to say it. And so it is September. Next month starts third, um, fourth quarter. I was about to say third, but we're in third quarter. And I just need to make sure I hit these goals. And so I have to read 12 books by the end of the year. So at first I was going to use Keynote and create my own tracker. And I was told and uh, that I could use Goodreads and I will do that, but I still want it in my planner. So I just went to my portrait planner that I'm creating for next year. And I was just creating me a simple tracker. What book did I read? What, what month was it in? And then the rating. But I forgot that I bought some of Planning to Prosper's individual pieces for her reading kit. So we're gonna go into my stickers and we're going to hit portrait pieces. And so I decided that probably won't print it or I need to make my own to match my aesthetics. But for right now, we're going to use this because it's all about reaching those um, goals. And we're going to go back to my Lux, no Lux book, volume three. Right, it's all these different planners that we're using to house it. I wasn't sure where I wanted it. But I think I'm going to move it around. So right now, I don't know why I did that. You know, all these pages aren't linked because we're building as we go using different templates. I think I want to just go to September and put it right behind the month. And then every month, I'll just move it to the new month. That'll be easy. Copy the page and move it on. I kind of pre-prepped the video because, guys, I started this video and I didn't know where half the books I had read. They were in so many different sections, so I stopped and got myself together. So what I did was previously I put into my <clears throat> elements all the books that I read, okay? I don't know what that says, recents. And then I also took her elements tool. I can't read half of this stuff. Don't y'all think they should put the words should be a list? Is there a list? Let me see. There we go. So I'm looking for my um, ratings that Planning to Prosper offered. And I kind of put them all on one. I think this is it. No, that's not it. I saved it. And I don't see it. Don't you hate that? You prep and then it don't be ready. That's not it. Where could I have? Okay, well, let's go back to the recent. This is it. Okay, this is it. So what I did is I pulled out some tags for my books. We're going to get there. Okay, we're going to get there. So I wanted to label that it was 2024. Um, I wanted a trying to show you what it says did not finish because I have two books that I did not finish so we're going to set these up here and then I did have one book club read that somebody recommended that it was in a book club so I'm going to save that one I have currently reading because I'm currently reading a book and that sticker can move from book to book and then I want to label all my five star books so that's where I'm at with these, and I'm just going to stick them right here. All right, then I went, and I went into all my planners, because remember, we start planning in one planner, then we move to another planner. So what I wanted to do was find out all the books that I read. So I think I've read a total of 15 books, two books that I didn't read, and I need nine more. So we're getting there. So what I want to do now is pull all the books in, and again... I'm using my element tool because as I do my book reviews, which you've seen me do before, um, I place them in the element section. So we just want to put them over here on the side and then we just want to find where my books are. And I'm sorry, I have to click through these because I, oh, there they go. So now we're going to move the books over and I'm going to keep this as a split screen because I need to put them in order. So the first thing that I read in January was the 12 week year. Okay. And that's how I'm tracking my goals. That's why I'm trying to stay on float because I want to make sure that I'm accomplishing these goals every month, every quarter so that I can 
meet the yearly goal. And the yearly goal is 24 books, okay? If I do more, that's great, but we can't do less. When you plan quarterly, it doesn't let you get behind, okay? So this is me just checking in on one of my goals. It doesn't always have to be about something business. This is a self-care um, goal that I guess that I have. And I want to make sure I'm staying on float. So, okay, for February, I read seven days in June. I'm going to resize these later. We just going to get them on here. Then I read Before I Let Go. Girl, these books right here. They were all, I hate that that's crooked. <laughs> we might have to go back and change it. Okay, I'll fix that later. But we're going to stick over here right now. And then I read fast, and that took me almost two months to read. I don't know why, because I think I read this book. I didn't listen to the Audible. Oh, I need to read. I need to get a sticker for that. I don't know why, because that's the only book I actually physically read in my like Kindle. I need to fix that. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving. First Lady was a book that I didn't finish. I'm going to finish it, though. I might have to force myself to do that next. And Monday Never Came. I started these two books. I don't know. This one got kind of crazy. If you haven't read Monday Never Came or if you did read Monday Never Came, put me a comment what you thought about this book. I hate to be a spoiler, but that got kind of like crazy to me. Monday Never Came was not about the day of the week. <laughs> It was about a little girl named Monday and her best friend was looking for her because she went away for the summer. And then when she got back waiting for her, they usually was like write each other letters and keep in touch while she goes to like grandma's house or something. And then when she got back, did, you know, she didn't receive any letters. And when she got back, I'm trying to make these even and it's not working. Um, she could, she didn't show up to school. And so she spends the whole time looking for Monday but what happened to Monday, girl? Mm, mm, mm. It was a little crazy for me. All right, so then in March, I was still reading books. I don't know what happened. Oh, you know what? Miss Kent off. Oh, this was hiding. I like this little shelf. I need to create my own. I want the black line going back here, and I don't want that brick background. I mean, it's all right, but, you know, it's still in my planner. They definitely don't go together, and this definitely will not be printed with this page, so don't worry. <laughs> it's not happening like that. Okay, so then if this could be us. Then I done fell in love with Kennedy Ryan, okay? That girl right there, Kennedy Ryan, she can write. So I'm reading, like, most of all her books. She my new fave. Now, my favorite author is a Christian fiction but she don't write Christian fiction anymore. She writes historical fiction, so she wrote the first ladies and she co-writes she also wrote the librarian i think that's the name of it i read that one and it was pretty good i'm trying to get into the first ladies okay so that's what um she co-wrote co-wrote she co-wrote the book and i think she co-wrote the book librarian with the same lady who's more of a historian and they write together but anywho that's where we at with that all right the next that was April. So in May, I read Tiny Habits. So I was back to self-help books. You know, it helps you to keep focused because you need at least 12 self-help books this year. And then I read a love song for Ricky Wilde. Okay. And then June, I read Born a Crime. And I read The House of Eve. And that was the book review book that I read. We're going to get to that in a minute. All right. And so then July, I started saying, I'm going to read three, four series. Girl, I didn't get but one. I didn't get but one, but I did read almost three books in a week, but then I fell off. So we read Long Shot First. I really think these are by Kennedy Ryan as well. Girl, these books had me in a chokehold. The way these men love their women Oh, my goodness. I loved it. I was there for it. I loved every minute of it. Then I wrote block. Mm, I wrote. <laughs> they wrote, too. These books is not for no children. These are not uh, PG books, okay? So don't really read these books if you don't want to. Um, mm, 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 I don't even know what to tell you. 
but they not PG, okay? That's crooked too. I think on the page I had some of them crooked, so we're going to have to go get the straight books to fix fit on here. Isn't this coming out kind of cute? All right, and then we want to um, read the 5 a.m. club. It was hard. I think once the book started telling me the same thing over and over and over again, I, I can't get to the point. That one had me in a chokehold too because it took forever to get through this book. I just let the thing play because it was too much. It was. I thought it was going to teach me about getting up at 5 a.m., but it told you a story about a group of people he was trying to teach to get up at 5 a.m. I don't know. That book won't for me. And then Make Your Bed talks about setting goals and how that sets your day. It was a short read. Um, and then August, I don't think I had any books. I think I was worn out by these five because I was supposed to do two a month. And so now, loving the book by Kennedy Ryan again, real. This is absolutely amazing. So that's where I'm at with the books. I feel like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18. I don't know where I got these numbers from. Maybe I miscounted. 18. Minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've read 16 books. Maybe I miscounted on this little crazy list I got right here. Okay, so now we got to get the books before I let go. It needs to be a straight copy. So I need to go over to the internet. Y'all see I was trying to get prepared for the video before I let go. Setting goals is important. And stick, reading a 12-week year will put it in perspective of how you should be setting your goals so that you can stay focused, all right? We got one quarter left, guys, to accomplish these goals. I really want to finish all my books. I think I could do nine books by November if I stay consistent, especially if they're interesting. When I'm listening, and I listen to the book, so let's be clear, but I'm all, it's all right. It's, I'm still getting it. And I try to, I think next year, I started saying something I didn't finish. Next year, I'm going to um, require myself to read one and listen to one. I got to do more reading, but we're going to take one step at a time. And that's what Tiny Habits taught me. That Did y'all see my nail? <laughs> this don't have nothing to do with the video, guys. I've been making videos since January consistently, and I don't think you ever seen me with a broken nail. These nails are only a week old. They're not two weeks old. And why in the world do I have a broken nail? It just popped off. And these are my nails. Like, they're, I told you I was painting. That's why it's black. But, guys, I'm upset. And this one lifting. I paid the lady 70 something dollars, and I'm really upset. So I got to go get my nail fixed at least right after work tomorrow. So please forgive me. It will never happen again. <laughs> because my other lady, she canceled on me. So, anyway, segue of why my nails look bad. And I didn't let it stop me from making this video. So, if you was wondering, if you've been here for a minute and you know Miss Kent, she love her nails. But let the show, let the show. The show must go on. You can't stop. It is easy to maneuver with this little short nail I got. I tell you that. That looks blurry. I use Audible to read my books. I pay $14.99. Save the photos. And um, was it the block shot or the long shot? The hook shot. Okay. And so hook shot is the last one I needed to be straight. Because if I tell you about Kennedy Ryan, there we go. Guys, these books right here, if you have not read this series, I don't know if it matters because you meet each character and they do reference their characters in each book. But I read them in that order. I think it's the way it was given to me on um, TikTok. I get all my book recommendations from TikTok. Let's be clear. <laughs> 
It's called Book Talk. If you've never heard of Book Talk, check it out. Just type it in and you'll get all kinds of reviews depending on what type of books you like. Um, I absolutely love Book Talk. But right now I'm on a Kennedy Ryan. Um, what do you call it? Kick. What y'all think? If this, I might just take this a black strip and put across here. Like create my own black strip and just keep this in my planner. Make your bed. I don't think I got that one. So. Sometimes you read a book, but you don't see that you learn it in it. Make your bed. Once you, you give me the, the key to it, I don't think um, all the other stuff I didn't need. Especially when you old as me. And you've been around for a minute. Every time I do that, I act like I ain't never did it before. Okay, I'm really excited though, guys, because I have this in the order that um, the books I read over the last few months. It's not few months. How many months has it been? Nine. Look, at it looks so cute. Oh my God, I'm in love. I think it's just to see the bookshelf. I don't know. I like it. What y'all think? Okay, so I'm currently reading and this can move. So we just want to stretch it. She made them so... Oh, wait a minute, got to arrange it. I get too excited. Bring to the front. No, look at me. There we go. Look, guys. Now, you know, I ain't going to show y'all so all close up because I... I got to get it straight, right? Oh, there we go. That look all right. All right. And then we want to get the one that was a book club read. Is this the one? Is the, Yep. This is the book club read. If anybody else got a book club I could join, I would like to actually, even if it's virtual. I live in Virginia, but there we go. There we go. Okay, look at this. So this is going to be a great reference for next year. Lisa, I'm accomplishing my goals. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. If I could get 30 books, I'll be doing something. So I'm going to make my last month or so. I'm reading actual books. So I'm going to get through my 24. And then those last six, I'm going to actually be reading. Which means I haven't read all these because I got two more I need to finish. But I put a dent in them. So I need to copy this until I finish it. And I might not finish it. I don't know. We'll see. Is anybody else reading? I want to sit down and read every night. But I wouldn't get through 24 books. Because I got so much other stuff to do. So last night, I put this book on while I was working on my... I don't know. While I was working on my... Um, data book. So, um, yeah, I, I was able to get through it and I really enjoyed it. I cut the TV off guys. This book, this book must be crooked. We're not getting another one cause I don't have time for that. So I got two books I didn't finish and girl, it's a whole bunch of them to get five stars. This right here had me crying on a regular, on a regular. It had me crying <laughs> when they said they had me on a wall sliding down. I ain't know what that meant. Now I know. It's the things he did for her. Oh, my God. I can't tell you about the book. Before I let go, this could be us. All these books had me. I just love a good love story. If that's not your kind of book, then find something that you like. Okay, hook shot, book shot, block shot. All the shots had me shot. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh my God, they had me in a choke hole. I loved it. Mm, mm, mm. You know it, love. You love it when you don't even cut the TV on. I could visualize it. Like when I'm reading and they're talking and they saying stuff, oh, I could see it. Now I can't see like the faces, I see the images. If they walking down the street, I have a visual of two people walking down the street. I don't know, I be into it. 
I listen to books while I'm driving. I don't even want to talk on the phone no more. I just cut. If I'm in a good book, I got to get started, though. I got to get started. Like this, when I go home, I'll be, when somebody call me, I'll be just, uh, 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 don't call me right now. Sending them to voicemail. Because I'll be trying to listen to what's going to happen next. That's off. It's because the book crooked. Y'all know Miss Kent is not talented like that. My talent is elsewhere. See how it's off? And it's not the sticker, it's the book. That's good enough. To the naked eye, to the naked eye. I gotta give... I gotta give 12-week year a five-star. I'm gonna tell you right now, tiny habits, it took too long. But the concept of what they were talking about, small habits, is really good. I do like that. This took me too long to get into. Once I got into it, it was really good. This had me cracking up. He is a funny person. And I think he read his own book. And I love when the author reads their stories. That was really good and informational, too. All right, guys, that's it. Let's hope that I can get through this book. I'm halfway through the reel and I can accomplish my goals. I do want to show you that this was on my to-do list. So we're going to go right back over to my, I didn't forget what planner I was in. Oh, it's in my luck. Yeah, my girl, what am I doing? In my Lux book planner. All right, so we want to go to 17. And so I had something on my list that said create data book. We did that. Sorry, this is the 18th. Create a book list for 24 book goal. Okay, so what I'm doing is showing you how I'm accomplishing my goals. And they're also part of my yearly goals. Okay, so we finish this. We always post our assignments. The teacher checklist, I haven't did this. Oh, guys, I added the lesson plan to the folder. I'm getting there. Email tutoring instructions. I created the letter, but I haven't emailed yet. So I got a letter out for parents. So I'm working on that. I'm still, I had kids making up all these quizzes right here. So as soon as tomorrow comes, I gave a few more extensions. All of those will be closed. So they already graded and ready to go. I just need the few kids who didn't finish to get their grades set up. So I hope to go home tonight and see who finished and who didn't. So this section here is what I'm working on right now. I hope to close those out tonight so I can come back tomorrow with a good report. <laughs> Hold me accountable, okay? And we still working on these assignments. And so they're not closed yet, but these are closing in the morning, okay? So that's where I'm at. I didn't do a daily today. I probably would do a daily for the weekend so we can kind of set that up. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I will, no, not the 19th. We're going to be doing the 20th, but this is the 19th date. So we're going to put it on this one. So what I do is I delete the days that I don't do. And since tomorrow is the 20th, we're going to set this up from the 20th and the 21st, which is the weekend. I kind of count Sunday as this one, too, and I just delete Sunday, but I don't put it on here. I don't know why, but I guess I could put to the 22nd. We'll see how that makes me feel. I forgot last week why I didn't include Sunday. Oh, because I had something to do. I don't know. There we go. The 22nd camp. I got a football game I'm supposed to be. They playing football out there on the field. I got to get out there, guys. So I appreciate you staying with me. We're going to set up tomorrow. I will be back with a video. Stay tuned for setting up my daily and getting my weekend straight because I got things I need to accomplish. We are working on accomplishing all our goals. I do want to let you know that I did the textbook and the filming. I'm still sticking to my diet. I'm doing my daily habits every day, so I'm excited. I hope you are too. And if you stay with me this long, happy planning, baby, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.